So it's one o'clock in the morning and we just made it back. So this is where it starts. We have Dolly here now. Um, she had quite the ride from Missouri down to Texas. It's quite a, quite a ways. Um, now she just needs some time. She needs time to, to relax and kind of get acclimated to this area. Uh, Dolly's a unique situation because she's in a completely different climate from Missouri coming to Texas. Um, so she needs time to overcome that. She needs time to kind of understand the process that we have here, how we set everything up, when we feed, how we feed, the type of feed. Plus, we're going to supplement her to make sure she's getting everything she needs. Uh, we're going to check her levels of selenium and copper and, and everything else. We'll do blood tests. And then we're just going to wait. I mean, it just takes time. It's a patience game. You have uh, quite a bit of time to get this done correctly. So we're just going to be patient and let her hang out in the pasture. And in three weeks or so, we should have a chance to bring her. I was kind of hoping that Dolly would wait a little while before she came into heat, but she's been here 48 hours. And even though she was due to come into heat at this time, I was kind of hoping that she wouldn't. But hey, we're gonna we're gonna check her out and maybe try to put a couple straws in her just just for to be able to see how she is physically, and we'll go from there. Well, Dolly, she's fine. I mean, she's she's physically where she needs to be. I think uh, we'll continue to work on her nutrition and um, get her into a little bit um, heavier condition so that it's easier to breed. So end of the month, um, toward the end of December, we'll look at trying to breed her again. We'll see where she's at and then go from there. So exactly 21 days to the, almost to the minute, a little more than 21 days, she's, Dolly's in heat again. So that's exactly what we expected. Didn't really expect her to breed on the first try because of some, you know, the stress issues of, of traveling so far. So now we get a chance to actually breed her. So we're going to shoot. we we'll see if, um, if we can get her stuck this time. I'm actually really happy with her. She, Dolly stood very well. She's in, she's in excellent condition. She had a very good heat. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm thinking that she's, I'm, I'm excited. I think she's gonna be okay. So now it's just more waiting. Uh, that's the bad thing about trying to breed cows is it takes 21 days between tries to see you know, what, you're, what you're doing, what's gonna happen. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens in 21 days. Okay, so it's been 21 days, and when I bred Dolly at the end of December, I thought, man, we're, we're doing good. I mean, I think she's in really good condition, and I know that she has the right nutrition, so I, I'm actually shocked that she's come back into heat. I am absolutely shocked. There's four things that you have to have to get a cow bred. Uh, the first one is, the, the cow has to be fertile. I think we have that covered. I think Dolly is a fertile cow. I think she's okay. I don't see, I don't feel any physical problems with her. Second is that you have to have the timing correct. I'm using spotter bulls, video cameras, 
I'm using all the, I mean, I'm using everything that I can to make sure that we're in the window that we need to be within to get our breath. The third thing is the placement. Dolly is like a three or four. She is not difficult to breed. She's, she's very easy. So I, I bred Dolly and I bred another cow of mine uh, and neither one of them are pregnant. They're both coming back in the heat. So that tells me I might have a semen issue, which I, I try to take care of that by using the best distributors I can. But we're gonna burn a couple of very expensive straws to make sure that we have good semen because I really am shocked that she's not pregnant. She's back in heat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so we're gonna test the semen to make sure that it's okay because semen is bad we're just going around in circles so let's see if we can get it adjusted here oh well darn semen is bad so um, it's not it's not completely bad but it's it's substandard for sure I'm gonna try some other ones and see if we can find a bull, because I have I have quite a bit in stock. I have tons of semen in stock. So we'll check that and see if we can find a bull that'll work for her. So everything went well. I used the better semen. I mean, it's really above average and uh, timing is good, placement is good, everything is good. I think Dolly is fine. She's been getting the supplements she needs. She's been getting the feed she needs. Uh, she's in great condition. Uh, there's nothing else I can do. The problem is it's a 21 day wait. And during that window when she should come back in the heat, I'm scheduled to be in Florida. I've already made arrangements. That's what I do every year. And um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna be here when she comes back in the heat. So that's gonna put us way behind if she doesn't take this time. So that's about all I can do. We'll, we'll see what happens from there. and. Man, I hope she's I hope she's bred.